Welcome to Washington Hospital Today, dedicated to informing residents about health care topics and issues. Through programs featuring community forums and free health and wellness classes, our goal is to empower community members with the information needed to make informed health decisions. Washington Hospital has been providing health care to the residents of the Washington Township Healthcare District for the past 60 years. Today's presenters are Temi Lung and Nancy Liu. Temi and Nancy are registered dietitians with Washington Hospital. Hello, everyone. Today's Diabetes Matters is going to be on summer treats, and you have me, Temi, the dietitian, and... I'm Nancy. I'm the other dietitian. All right. Let's get started. We're going to do quick reviews first, and we're going to review our topics from the like last couple sessions, um, sugars, and then recipe modification, and then we're going to have a food demo as well. So if you're in person, you get to try out our, our dietitian snacks that we bring in. All right, so we're going to review non-caloric sweeteners. These are specific sweeteners that do not raise your blood sugars. So they're very good sugar substitutes if you have like a sweet tooth, right? Or even making some sweet desserts. All right. And then so you mostly, co most common ones here are aspartame. You probably heard of like stevia and sucralose here. The stevia and monk fruit are from fruit sources or plant sources. There tend to be more natural sources of like a non-caloric sweetener, right? Versus the other ones are more artificial sweeteners. Some people like to stay away from them. So monk fruit, sugars, and stevia are two other good options. All right, and then we have a sugar content of regular ice cream on the topic of summer treats, right? Because of the hot weather, everyone likes to have some ice cream, but they tend to be loaded with sugar and fat, right? As you can see here, this scoop of ice cream has like five and a half cubes of sugar. And then this one, the whole pint is like a lot, right? If you want to count one, two, three, five, what's that? 10 plus 14, 17. 20. Yeah, 20. <laughs> All right. And then similar with the Spen and Jerry's, right? And then just a reminder that one to four grams of added sugar on the label equals about a teaspoon of sugar mm -hmm. or a teaspoon of carbs. I swear Jerry Garcia only has the five and a half. This one? It has five and a half grams of sugar, as you said. Why is it why is it so much different? It's supposed to compare the scoop on the left yeah. side versus the whole carton. That's mm -hmm. what the two mountain. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Scoop and here. Then, mm -hmm. okay. And then it would obviously depend on brand to brand, flavor to flavor, right? Okay. And then some fast food chain ice creams that if you were to see, the A&W one here has 270 calories, but it has 42 grams of carbs, right? And then Nancy did a good job here of, you know, showing it in cube size representation. So that's eight and a half teaspoons of sugar, right? For 42 grams of carbs. So that's a lot of sugar. Okay. And then here's another representation of sugary drinks. People like to have cold, sparkling drinks during the summer too, right? So that's the sodas, the energy drinks, the juices, and all that. I guess Sue brought her own drink. <laughs> yeah. Unsweetened, Unsweetened tea. tea. Nice. Starbucks tea. Oh, zero yeah. Zero. Nice. 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 Water and not lemon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so this is just a good representation, right? What is this? A 20 ounce soda has 15 teaspoons of sugar. Just as a comparison to fruit juice here. 
16 ounces. 16 ounces has 17 tablespoons or teaspoons, sorry. Right? No, but this is for kids. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Nancy's and then, <laughs> and then this is a review from last time, but since we're doing a recipe, like a food demo, I just wanted to review ways that you can reduce your carb intake. So remember, you don't have to cut out all your carbohydrates, but you want to try and focus on the more nutritious ones and then try to limit the added sugars. Um, so these are some of the tips from the Diabetes Food Hub. Number one is to reduce. So we got the four R's, reduce the portion of your carbs at the meal. So if you have a plate of pasta, you could reduce the amount of the pasta, the carbs, and try and add more of the veggies, more of the protein. And the second R is to remove one or more of the carbs. So maybe you have both the pasta and the garlic bread. Maybe you just choose one or the other um, or reduce half and half of each one. And then the third R is to replace the carb portion that you have reduced or removed with a lower carb food. So again, you can replace it with more protein, more veggies that don't affect your blood sugar so much. And then the last one is to rethink your drink. Um, so if you have something that does contain sugar, whether it's natural sugar like milk or maybe added sugar like soda, sweet tea, um, try and have maybe like sparkling water, a diet soda, or just plain water instead. If you do gluten, does that have any effect on the carbs? Gluten usually is in the foods with carbohydrates, like the bread. Um, it's the protein part of the carbohydrate food, I guess. Yeah. If you do gluten-free. Gluten-free, then it depends. Some gluten-free foods will still have carbohydrates. So I can go oh. review the label reading at the very end if you want. But when you're looking at what affects the sugar on the label, it's the total carbohydrates. And now I think, oh, and then one, so the t we have two different food demos today and they're both frozen treats um, and we want to compare it to this one. Um, it's just so strawberry fruit popsicle, but if you look at the label, here, there are some added sugars here. So about three teaspoons of added sugar in just one bar, right? The serving size, and that's coming from just cane sugar added. So we have two different treats um, that you can make. That can that you can replace the added sugar or reduce the total carbohydrate sugar content. Okay, so the first one we have a strawberry yogurt popsicle, and this is from the inspired by this raspberry swirl frozen yogurt bark that's on the ADA um, Food Hub. So if you guys haven't seen it before, if you go on the American Diabetes Association, their Food Hub has a bunch of different recipes that you can look into and try. Um, so we're gonna replace. In the last slide, in the strawberry popsicle, we're going to replace the cane sugar. You can use monk fruit sweetener or stevia, like Temi mentioned, um, or you can just use the natural sugar of the fruit. Um, we're also going to put yogurt in here, so I'm not going to add any sugar um, substitutes at all because the yogurt is already flavored. And then you can also reduce, so change the serving size that you're making. Maybe just make it a smaller treat that you can have after dinner. Okay, and then... I plugged the ingredients. It's just frozen strawberries and yogurt, um, one to one ratio. I use the two good vanilla yogurt, so it's lower carb, no added sugars. And then I plug the ingredients into my fitness pal. Um, you can add your own recipes and they give you a little nutrition label. So you'll see that for one serving, um, this amount makes eight servings, but for one serving, you just get about five grams of carbs and then you also get five grams of protein. Very simple. I got my blender. So we're just going to blend it up. And then we don't have time to freeze it. So all I did was blend it together. And then I put it in a little plastic bag. Yeah, I just blended it and then put it into little mini plastic bags like this. And then you just freeze it. And then you let it soften a little bit and it slides right out of the bag. So I'll give you two after. It's right here. Um, I have. That's the go machine I make the drinks with. So we could do any of this. Am I on the screen? Uh, yeah, you can, I can use the audio from there. As a sun muted. Should I mute it from here? Yeah, sun muted.
much longer I have left. So this one, this is the Too Good yogurt. And then if you look on the label here, like we talked about last time, you can look at the serving size. So if you do a three quarter cup of this yogurt, there are no added sugars at all. And it's a lower carb one. Usually about three quarters cup of yogurt would give you 15 grams of carbs, but this one only gives you four grams of carbs. I bought a half a cup of Ask them how carbs play into diabetes. Okay? Because right. I'm not sure or not. So we got, a, got about a half cup of yogurt. You know what? I should have put in the strawberries first. We want to measure the strawberries. Yeah. That's okay. We can just dump in the strawberries. Then. We'll do about a half cup of strawberries. That way it doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the blender. Is that right? The strawberries. The frozen strawberries. Frozen strawberries. Half a cup. Yes. Blend it, make it a little bit loud. You can get really cute popsicle molds from Amazon, from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or you can get little plastic, little plastic bags and just pour them in. I got ill. I did this ten times already at home. I should have had a spoon. Not too, not too cold. We'll expand a little bit, and then, oops, and then just freeze that, and then you got your popsicle. Now we'll give give our audience some to try that we made from home. Yeah, yeah. You can take multiple if you want. <laughs> Question: How do carbohydrates play into Diabetes. How does that, how does carbohydrates affect diabetes? Yeah, so carbohydrates in general. I, I can't hear. Yeah. So carbohydrates in general raise your blood sugars. So then like once your blood sugar is high, then you're, you're in this, then your diabetes are just going to go out of whack because your blood sugars are high. So you're not monitoring or controlling your sugar intake or your carb intake. All right. And then oh. diabetes happens when your insulin isn't producing enough insulin or like your body isn't using your insulin properly. And insulin is the hormone that opens up your blood cells to draw in the sugar from your blood. So carbohydrates convert in your body to sugar. Is that yeah. what you say? Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So that's why we want to be careful with how much carbohydrates you're eating. Because the yes. more you eat at a time, the higher your blood sugar will go. Got it. Yes. Okay. Do you want to go feedback back to the audience? I know you don't understand. How is it? Yeah. Mm. Refreshing. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. They don't have no, no added sugar at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the next one. All right. Well, this one's pretty fast, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I got a moving on. Next one. All right, next sweet treat. Frozen banana. 
So this one, we just use bananas and you can slice them however you want if you want to do like little coin sizes or I did them the long way in half and then another half like this, so they're in quarters. And then you can drizzle at them with peanut butter, which is what I did. Or we also brought sugar-free chocolate chips. You can melt that and drizzle that over. Um, coconut flakes, crushed nuts, or even dip them in yogurt. Um, and then that's it. You just freeze it. it. And then it's like a little, it's almost like a, if you've heard of nice cream, like ice cream texture, but they're little fun size um, pieces. So let me show you how to make these ones. Let me do bananas have a high glycemic index um in a way because they are loaded with sugar by the way the, the popsicles are very good the oh, pops, i know you like them they're very good very refreshing yay yay all oh, thanks to Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got peanut butter cups and we put them in hot water. So let me just let it be enough. I never thought of heating pea to pan. Never thought of it. So you can decide how big of a serving it should be. Yeah. <laughs> I need to ask my aunt where she got the bags. I know, I was going to say, this is like perfect. <laughs> so you could cut them into tiny pieces if you want. Or earlier I did in half and then in half again. So sorry. you can also put, sorry. you can also put a popsicle stick through the center and that way you can hold it or you can just use your hands. Like this. And then you just take your peanut butter and then drizzle a little bit over the top. It was actually the perfect consistency. Oops. Ooh, wow, look at that. Like that. And then that's it. And then you freeze them and then they'll be ready for you to eat. And then I did make some of these too. I think they defrosted a little bit more though, so you can see how the texture is like. Okay. So if everyone shows up in person, you can have treats. We can still bring something in. So Nancy made a label here. So it has... The peanut butter banana is oh. very good. But imagine it frozen. When it's not frozen, it seems to be than Oh, because like the ice expands, right? I also think it's this riper too. Yeah, it was a little bit riper. Oh, when you do freeze it? Yeah, because um, when you the heat, the temperature changes. Oh. So it kind of makes your the banana right faster. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to put bananas in the fridge because it makes the banana right faster. They turn brown in the fridge. Oh, I see. Fresh. Interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it does taste more like a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But from natural fruit sugar. <laughs> so her, her two bananas, right? You yeah, those are two bananas. All right. And she made eight servings. Total carbohydrate seven. But with some of the peanut butter, it added some protein. Not too much. But <laughs> Not too much, but a little. <laughs> just right. flavor. Mm -hmm. But you can always just add more too, right? Or add some yogurt as well, just to up the protein if you need to. Yeah. I've seen some recipes where you can mix the peanut butter and the yogurt and then dip your banana in that and then freeze it. Mm. You can do like a swirl situation there. Right. So is that the peanut butter with the oil on top that you blended, or is that the peanut butter, the oilless peanut butter that, you know, how you get the Laura Scudders and it's got the layer of peanut butter? Yeah, on yes. Uh -huh. Like naturally from the peanut. But anyway, um, was yours? It was all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it for our presentation.